New hope for those suffering from a rare disorder. Sarepta Therapeutics reported positive results from a clinical trial of an experimental medicine for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. That sent shares of the drug maker higher by nearly 14% in trading today. Meg Terrell with a look now at the new promise and Sarepta's controversial past. Sarepta's experimental medicine is for patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, a rare genetic disease that causes progressive muscle wasting. It can rob kids of their ability to walk before they're teenagers and can be fatal before age 30. Sarepta received FDA approval last year for the first medicine to treat DMD. Called Exondus 51, it targets genetic drivers of the disease affecting about 13 percent of patients, a few thousand people. Sarepta is now testing additional medicines to reach more patients. The results today were for one of those programs. We had extraordinarily positive results. We were statistically significant on every one of these measures really validating the approach that we're taking to treating DMD and hopefully a step forward in our mission to eventually treat all of DMD and all of the boys who are suffering. The results topped Wall Street's expectations, driving Sarepta's stock higher. The company is the subject of one of the biggest controversies in recent FDA history. When Exondus 51 was approved last year, many questioned whether the data supporting it were strong enough to warrant approval. The studies on the medicine were run in a small number of patients and didn't prove a clinical benefit. Approval was based on an increase of a protein called dystrophin, important in the disease. Facing intense lobbying from the patient community, the FDA granted what it calls accelerated approval, requiring the company to prove in a confirmatory study that the drug confers a clinical benefit. If it doesn't, the FDA could pull the medicine from the market. Those results are a few years away. Analysts pointed out today that the new medicine helps produce more dystrophin than Exondus 51, suggesting it too should receive accelerated approval. But the controversy doesn't stop there. People also question Exondus 51's price, $300,000 or more a year per patient, a cost that Sarepta's CEO defends. Sarept is a small company, and we alone have already invested a billion dollars fighting uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and we're not done yet. This is a societal question more than a Sarepta question. That fundamental question is, does it make sense, is it worth the investment to find solutions for these devastating rare diseases that uh, often um, are crushing to children more often than not? And the answer, obviously, for Sarepta is yes. The market for Exondus 51 could reach as much as $600 million a year in the U.S., according to estimates from RBC Capital Markets. This next medicine targets a smaller proportion of patients, just 8 percent of those with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Still, according to RBC estimates, that market could reach $400 million a year. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.